So RISC V goes back to 2010. So at that time, uh, at my research group at UC Berkeley, we were starting a new series of projects and we needed to pick a new instruction set to base the projects around. So I should mention the other designers, as well as Andrew, there was also Yun Sup Lee, who was a graduate student at the time. And then uh, also Dave Patterson, my colleague at Berkeley, he was well known for having actually coined the term RISC way back in early 1980s for the original Berkeley RISC projects. The very first tape out was in uh, 28 nanometer, the first RISC V chip, uh, 28 nanometer FDSOI process from SD Microelectronics. So after that initial design, initial tape out, we started building several other chips. And in fact, over the course of the next few years, we did maybe a dozen, 15 different tape outs of various types of processor cores. And by 2014, we sort of refined the design and we thought we were sort of done with the base design. At the moment when I was graduating, I wanted to make a difference, like that little bump in the world that people talk about. And at the time, I thought starting a company around RISC-V and making it real has the best chance of making a difference in the world. Since the inception of the company, I think we have accomplished a lot. We have played a very big role in making Risk 5 known all over the world. We have played a very important role in getting many companies and many groups of people interested in development of Risk 5. But the next two years, the next three years are going to be different. These, the past was all about making Risk 5 relevant. The future is about making Risk 5 scale.